Hey there, it's Jake Dempsey, CEO and co-founder of Project Broadcast. In this video, we're going to go over setting up your account with Project Broadcast. But before we do that, just remember, you can always visit training.projectbroadcast.com for additional training modules. There's tons of training modules available, and all the training is free. You can also email us at support at projectbroadcast.com if you have questions about getting your account set up or about a feature that you're using when you've already set up your account. I'm going to hop over in a moment just to the Project Broadcast website, and we're going to go, we're going to go through the different plan options and what you should consider when creating your actual Project Broadcast account. On the Project Broadcast website, I'm going to pop over to the pricing tab so we can talk through what different plans are available and how you should think about uh, what plan to select. By default, we show you all the yearly plans. I'm going to use the starter plan as an example to talk through. Um, on every plan, I'm going to switch over to monthly. On every plan, you get a number of credits per month, and those credits roll over. Now, let's talk about what a credit is. In Project Broadcast, a credit is the currency of sending messages. When you send a message to a contact, that is one credit. Now, a single message can contain up to 1,024 characters. It can have emojis. Um, it can also have an image. So whether the message is just, you know, a thumbs up or a thousand characters with an image, it's only one credit. So let's say you schedule a message to 20 people. Well, that would be 20 credits. So that's how you understand how credits work in Project Broadcast. Now, a common question that we get is, okay, well, how, what plan should I select in, on the Project Broadcast website? And, you know, my, my suggestion is just that you sit and do a little bit of what I call napkin math and try to determine – well, how many prospects do you want to interact with on a given month? And how many existing customers are you going to interact with on a given month? And how many automated messages do you want to send to those groups of people? Just doing that basic math will give you an idea of what size plan that you need with Project Broadcast. Now, you can select our monthly plans. The starter plan, for example, is $18 per month. Or if you know you're going to be dedicating time and energy into Project Broadcast for your business, I would really encourage you to look at the yearly plans because on the yearly plans, you save about 16% a year. Um, the starter plan, as an example, is $180 a year for the annual plan. But if you were to pay for the starter plan monthly, um, as you can see, you would spend $180 in about 10 months. So you do save additional money by going to the yearly plan. But just to show you how the plans work, each plan is going to tell you how many credits you get per month and if it has rollover. Rollover just means if you say schedule, you know, 300 messages in a given month, the 200 credits you didn't use roll over to the next month. That rollover is indefinite until you cancel, of course. Um, but it allows you to bank credits for when you've got those times in your in your business when you need higher sending volumes. Um, if you look at the yearly plans, it gives you the number of credits that you get in that plan and you get them all at one time. So if you for example, sign up for the starter annual plan. You'll get 6,000 credits that will renew each year. It does have rollover, but you get all 6,000 credits um, at that moment that you sign up. So it's a way to get a bunch of credits at one time. Um, if you find when you're using Project Broadcast that you need to upgrade or downgrade your plan, you can easily do that from, uh, from our website as well. So I'm going to select the starter plan. I'll just do monthly, and we're going to walk through creating an account. Uh, so it's going to want me to pick the plan that I want. It tells you what the cost per credit is for each plan. As you can see, uh, you get discounts as you, um, you know, go on the higher plans. And some plans even include a 30-minute onboarding session with a project broadcast expert. And if you if you don't need one of these larger plans, you still have access to our export onboarding um, as a part of these smaller plans. Uh, it's just a fee that you can pay to get that onboarding. So let's fill out this information about myself. I'll pick the state of Texas. Now, when you pick a state or province, what you're asking for is when you show me phone numbers, Project Broadcast, I want to get a phone number in the state of Texas. So when I fill this out and click continue, Project Broadcast is going to look for uh, phone numbers in every area code in the state of Texas and give me all the options I have available. I think we show 30 numbers per area code. And you pick one of those numbers. That becomes your Project Broadcast phone number. You can make and receive phone calls with that phone number using our mobile application and, and web application. And obviously, you can send and receive text messages. 
I'm just going to remove briefly um, the screen while I put in card information here. So once I put in my card information, once I've put in my card information, um, I can come back to Project Broadcast and I get a welcome screen. We've got our account set up. We can either click to download the uh, mobile application from the App Store or from the Google Play Store. We can jump right into Project Broadcast by clicking the Get Started on the Web, or we can click Start Learning and that will take us to a, the training.projectbroadcast.com site.